Sharon Wilharm, Faithflix Films, here at NRB Convention 2018, and I have with me Shirley Mitchell, who is a talk show host and an author. And now, I love the titles of your books. All right. Uh, let's see. Fabulous After 50, yes. Sensational After 60, yes. and Radiant After 70. Yes, and I'm the Radiant After 7. <laughs> is there plans for uh, Exceptional After 80? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so now tell us about the inspiration between this whole aging outside of the box. Well, you know, really the baby boomers. You remember how many there were in the baby boom? The figure is high, very, very high. And so uh, I wanted to talk to baby boomers as they turned 50 mm -hmm. uh, because I, I lived the 50s before I wrote the book. <laughs> and I knew what it was like to be 50. Yeah. So uh, this book, Fabulous After 50, Finding Fulfillment for Tomorrow. Can I hold this oh, up? Oh, yes, please do. Uh, <laughs> it, it is just awesome for the women all over the world that's turning 50. It's a positive book. It's a Christian book. It's a um, enlightening book. And it's interesting to read and a fast read. And and then I lived. That's all I was say. What's the difference between the different ones? All right. <laughs> there are differences because usually in the, in the 60s, you have grandkids. Mm. Do you know what? I have 18 grandkids. Oh, wow. Do you know what else? The grandkids think the grandmother is the most wonderful person in the world. <laughs> they fight over me. They fight over who's going to sit by me at the table. <laughs> and then there's a lot of good things happen in the 60s. Uh, but uh, to me, it was mainly the grandchildren. But you, you become even more grounded in the Word because I, I get up every morning and, and I read a, a devotional book and read my Bible every morning and pray before I do anything. And so as, say, 10 years of that, <laughs> you get really, I guess, accustomed to the Word and feeling that it's part of you and and you learn how to help others who are in, maybe in their 60s and don't want to be. <laughs> so this is a want to be 60. Oh, okay. And because now 70 is? 70 is. Has been a little more um, staying with the Lord because I inherited a disease, the heart disease. Mm -hmm. So I had um, heart surgery, 10 hour heart surgery. Oh wow. And look at me, Jesus <laughs> brought me through it. And I am, I am well, I'm doing well. But the 70s has a lot of wonderful things that happen. And it's not downhill, <laughs> you know? I, I'm looking forward to heaven. I'm pretty close there, you know? <laughs> so now how can people find out about you and your books? This is uh, from Whitaker House Publishers, and they're everywhere that books are sold and that you can um, order them from Whitaker House or uh, Aging Outside the Box is, is one of the things I say about these books. We're aging outside the box. I think we're uh, aging more because we have a lot of the healthy things that we know how to do to stay healthy and than some of our ancestors who died earlier. So I think I'm a pretty good example <laughs> of a 50, 60, 70 year old woman who's still excited about life. Well, sounds good. Our time is up. Again, I'm Sharon Wilharm with Faith Flicks Films and Shirley Mitchell at NRB Convention.